Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode of Mark. Let's see how Mark can stick his foot in his mouth. Yeah, uh, I like doing that quite a bit. Well, so the Bible chapters didn't last very long. They didn't run too well. I'm sorry that Several of you didn't find them noteworthy. But actually you did, because you still Still giving me your subscriptions, and I appreciate that. Bible is a big, long book of works. It was not to be messed with or written to overnight. Okay, where is my mark? Jacob meets Rochelle. Then Jacob set out on his journey and went to the land of people of the east. He looked and saw a well in the field, and behold, three flocks of sheep were lying beside it. Because they watered the flocks from that well, now the stone on the mouth of the well was large. When all the flocks were gathered there, they could roll the stone from the mouth of the well and water the sheep. Then they would 
puts the stone back in its place on the mouth of the well. Jacob said to them, My brother, my brothers, where are you from? And they said, We are from Haran. So he asked to them, he said to them, Do you know Levin, the son of Nahar? And they said, We know him. And he said to them, Is it well with him? And they said, It is well, and here is his daughter, Rachel, coming with the sheep. Then he said, Look, it is still high day. It is not time to, for the livestock to be gathered. Water the sheep and go pasture them. But they said, We cannot, we cannot until all the flocks are gathered and they roll the stone from the mouth of the well when all the water the sheep while he was still speaking with them Rochelle came with her father's sheep for she was the sheep her business. when Jacob saw Rochelle the daughter of the mother of the brother of Laham, the bum bum, and a sheep of the mother of the brother Laham. Jacob went up and rolled the stone from the mouth of the well and watered the flock of his mother's brother Laham. Then Jacob kissed Rochelle and raised his voice and wept. Jacob told Rochelle that he was a relative of her father and that he was Rebecca's son. And she ran and told her father. So then Lachan heard the news about Jacob, his sister's son. He ran to meet him and embraced him and kissed him and brought him to his house. Then he told the ham, the ham, all these things, and the bam bam, the ram said to him, You certainly are my bone and my flesh. And he stayed with him a month. Then the Lamb said to Jacob, Because you are my relative, you should, you should forever serve me for nothing. Tell me what shall your wages be? Now the ham had two daughters. The name of the older was Lee 
in the name of the younger was Rochelle. And Lee's eyes were weak, but Rochelle's were beautiful in figure and appearance. And Jacob loved Rochelle. So he said, I will serve you seven years for your younger daughter, Rochelle. Levin said, it is better that I give her to you than to give her to another man. Stay with me. So Jacob served seven years for Rachel, and they seemed to him like only a few days because of his love for her. Jacob said to Laban, Give me, give me my wife, for my time is completed, that I may have relations with her. So Laban, Laban gathered all the people in the place and held a feast. And in the evening he took his daughter, Lee, and brought her to him. And Jacob had relations with her. The man also gave his female slave, Zephiah, to his daughter, Lee, as a slave. So it came about in the morning that, behold, it was Lay that he said to the Bam, What is that you have done to me? Was it not for Rachel that I served with you? Why then have you deceived me? But Levan said, It is not the practice in our place to marry off the younger before the firstborn completely weak of this one, and we will give you the others also for the service which you shall serve with me for another seven years. Jacob did so and completed her week and he gave his daughter Rachel as his wife. Abraham also gave his female slave, Belai, to his daughter Rachel. So Jacob had relations with Rachel also, and indeed he had served with Abraham for another seven years. unable to have children. Leaf 
conceived and gave birth to a son and named him Reuben. For she said, Because the Lord has seen my affliction, surely now my husband will love me. Then she conceived again and gave birth to a son and said, Because the Lord has heard that I am unloved, he has therefore given me this son also. So she named him Simicon, Simeon, and she conceived again and gave birth to a son and said, Now this time to my husband will come attached to me, because I have borne him three sons, therefore his name is Levi. And she convinced again to give birth to a son and called him. This time I will praise the Lord. Therefore she named him Judea. And she stopped having children. And she stopped having children. Well, she had a bunch of children. And four, I count. Okay.